God does not live in heaven. So that's why your goal should not be heaven. If your goal is heaven, it's a stupid goal. How the message. I like Pastor Paul. And started as if that the message stopped there. But the issue is that where did God live? So I want you to listen to it. Listen to him before you begin to pass judgment. Where did God live? Is God living in heaven? Is that where God is living? So just sit down and watch it at the end. Maybe we will say a few things about it or we will not say anything. But just listen to it and make sure you watch it before you pass judgment. God does not live in heaven. So that's why your goal should not be heaven. If your goal is heaven, it's a stupid goal. And like Pastor Paul said, heaven cannot be at last. It is heaven at first. So let me answer the other one. God does not live in heaven. So I know you're going to ask me, where does he live? Uh, you are already asking. The Bible calls God the immortality that dwelleth on unapproachable light, which no man has seen nor will ever see. So, if you say he lives in heaven, I have a question. But before I ask you my question, Genesis 1 1. Genesis 1 1. And I want everybody to read it, be like a mass choir. Everybody, Genesis 1 1. Want you go. In the beginning, God created. Now hold on. If there was a day when God created the heaven and the earth. Catching the flow. So the question. Hey, hey, hey. So if there was a day when God created heaven and earth, where was he before that day? Anywhere he was. That is where he is. Because he said, I am the Lord. I change it. Since God doesn't live in heaven, then God did not create heaven for himself. Heaven is created for man. So that's why the person in heaven now, is the man jesus the man christ jesus is a man let's look god decided pastor paul that he wants to be a family man then god said as a family man my family must know me but as god like this they cannot know me because in my form as god i am the immortal where i dwell is unapproachable so god sat down and god follow me god walked out of god and god looked at god the lord said to my lord god said to god you go so when christ showed up the name of god that reveals his humanity is called Christ, Christos, the anointed one and his anointing. You don't anoint God. So for Jesus to be anointed means he's a man. How God anointed Jesus Christ, the man. Follow. So Jesus is born he grows up a man and goes through what you're going through the death of christ was not martyrdom the death of christ was substitutionary sacrifice martyrdom means a man that did good and is killed he wasn't just a good man he was a substitute he died my death so he died the death of a criminal because i was a criminal while we were without strength in due time 
Christ died for the ungodly. The word ungodly is criminal. That's why on that cross he was crucified between two thieves because he too was a criminal. It's identification. It's identification. He identified. He identified with you. He identified. He died your death so you can have his life. He went to hell so you can go to heaven. He was rejected so you can be accepted. He was abandoned so he will never forsake nor leave you. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. He took my place. I take his place. He became poor. I became rich. He died. I live. He went to hell. Heaven is automatic. Let me ask you. Jesus and heaven. Who is more, which one is more important? Jesus. Are you sure? Yes. Which is more important? Jesus. Are you sure? Yes. When you got born again, what came inside you? Jesus. The heaven should not be your goal. Yes. I know, I believe that you have gone through it, so I, I don't know whether you are still conf confused about the message. I don't know what you think. I don't know what comes over you. I don't know what you are imagining, but the, the truth is that what is actually heaven? What is heaven? What is heaven? What is God trying to point out or call heaven and refer to everything of everything that be good things to heaven? Permit me to just say Put it this way that heaven is just a place that men cannot found uh, and we are men will not find sorrow they will not find trouble but that heaven is not this one that when you raise your face you are see no that is not the that is not the heaven that bible talk about we we see it in that genesis they say to us say that god create heaven and earth so if god create heaven and earth where we are he, he before he created the heaven and earth. That means God was somewhere. And of course, in that uh, second Timothy, you discover that God dwell. Bible described that where he dwell, where he live is light. Is light. Is light that man, the, the ordinary man cannot approach it. God live where the natural being cannot. You also remember when the Bible talk about that uh, in Revelation say, I saw new heaven and new Jerusalem coming. I saw new heaven and new Jerusalem coming. And uh, permit me to say that uh, that new Jerusalem and new heaven coming is the one that will replace the garden of Eden, the, the mind that God used to create human being. That relationship, God is. God's intention is to bring back to the original form, to where he created man. We are sin, we not reign, we are evil, we not war. So the mindset is not maybe going to no, heaven, the one you are looking at, no. But the mindset should be where Christ is. Just like one, one of the things Jesus was saying, Jesus said, Jesus talked about, he said that we should ask when we pray that we should pray we say our father who art in heaven so where is that heaven located where is that very heaven located and what does that very heaven mean where is god's kingdom located and how did god's kingdom look like so it's a deep mystery it's a deep mystery Remember, Jesus said something. He said that the one, he said that he said, the, the, the heaven, the heaven, the coming of the heaven is bringing the will of the Lord to this earth. So when Jesus come, when Jesus died and resurrected, the heaven has come. So a Christian who is supposed to live in that heaven, in that atmosphere, the heaven to me, I will say, I mean, we do say is that the atmosphere that carry God's glory, that carry God's presence, that is heaven. It can be from here, but it's not this one that when you look here, when you raise your face, you see it. No, it's the spiritual heaven. It is spiritual location. So where is that spiritual location located? You cannot assess it except you have Christ to assess it. 
also think about it. And if you have anything to say, just say it that I, I will say don't insult anybody.